Hello and welcome to the third video in the Sport Plan Animator tutorial series. My name is Georgia and I'm here to give you a general guide of how to use the Sport Plan Animator. This week we're going to be looking at the options available to a player in possession and completing our first set play. In the previous video, we looked at the different ways in which you can move a player, as well as how to use the media controls. If you're unsure on how to do this, make sure you go back and view that video. So let's jump straight in. Select the player you wish to give possession to and click the puck icon. This player will now have a puck connected to them and will move together across the pitch. It is possible to have multiple players having multiple pucks. Let's give another player the puck and bring them across for the next example. Now that a player has the puck, you have a variety of options available. Click the location where you want the puck to move to and a second navigation wheel will appear. Let's select the pass option and press play to see our pass taking place. Different passing options are represented by different coloured lines. We'll give another player the shot option, causing a blue line to appear. With all these different options available, you may wish to change your mind about the style of pass. Let's delete the two lines we've just made. Click at the end of the pass you want to remove and simply click the delete button. This will remove the line whilst maintaining the player puck connection. Sometimes you want our players to lift the puck. Luckily, the sport plan animator is ready for this we can give our players the flip pass option and press play. A change in puck size indicates the puck changing height, with a decreasing puck getting lower to the ground. We only need one player for the next example. To remove a puck, simply click the player of interest and select the puck icon again. The final option available to a player in possession is skating with the puck. Click the draw option, select the endpoint, and then skate with puck. A black wavy line will appear on screen. Once we click play, we can see our player move along the centre of the line. Earlier we saw how we could adjust the direction a player was facing. Now that there's a puck involved, we can also choose the direction they face when making a run. Simply click the end of the line of the player you wish to edit and the sport plan angle mode will appear in the properties bar. There are four different options which exist and we've created you a handy on-screen guide, so let's run through them. Auto is the default angle setting and this means the player will automatically face the direction of the run, as currently shown. The next option is Puck. You can see that once selected, the player will automatically face the direction of the nearest puck and continue to do so as they run their line. The third option, Manual, allows you to manually decide which direction the player will face in whilst making their run. It is worth noting that if a player is making two runs, you can adjust the direction the player faces for each run separately. Let's give that a go. To begin with, we want the player to face the puck. So we'll click the end of the first line and select the puck angle mode. Then, to adjust this, the player is running towards the goal. We'll click the end of the second line and select the auto mode. This can work well for complex drills. Finally, there's a modify angle mode. This offsets the player by the angle you select and is great for curved runs. Let's watch all of those in practice. Now that we've explored the variety of options available to a player in possession and those making runs, let's start put together our set piece. In this example, we'll have the ball pass to the right hand player to take a shot. Use the draw option as demonstrated, clicking on the end of the attacker's run in the box and select the pass option. Congratulations, you've successfully completed your first pass using the Sport Plan Animator. We can also see that the initial player in possession now only has one option available to them, whereas the attacker receiving the ball has four. Let's keep this exercise simple and have the player shoot into the corner of the goal. Once again, select the draw option, clicking the corner of the goal and press the shoot option. And that's it, you have successfully built a set piece. This can now be edited to change the initial positioning of the players, with the playback being unaffected. Here are a few examples of how we can edit the current routine. Every line has a variable speed which can be changed. By clicking the end of the passing line you wish to change and moving to the property box, you can change the speed by using the handy slider. Let's have the attacker really commit. One final point for this week, and as always the most important, click that save option at the top of the page so that you don't lose all your hard work. This brings about the end of our third tutorial of the series. 
Keep a lookout for part four in which I'll show you how to advance your animations by looking at the secondary passing and running phases of your drills and set pieces.